Hi, I'm Arlen, and this is a short guide to the poster titled Finding Geometrically Concise Representations of Homology. This poster is based on joint work by Nello Blazer and myself. Homology let us count how many d-dimensional holes there are in a space. This makes homology very useful, especially when our goal is to tell spaces apart. Unfortunately, homology cannot tell us where these holes are located, because in the eyes of homology, every representation of a given hole are equally good. But we want to find the geometrically smallest of these representations, because it would describe the hole better than some representative that just meanders about randomly inside the space. The computational problem of finding these smallest representatives is known as the homology localization problem. Unfortunately, we know that this problem is very hard. Chen and Friedman showed that the problem is NP-complete to approximate, and we showed that the problem is W1 hard to approximate when it is parameterized by solution size. Roughly speaking, this means that the problem is still fairly hard to solve even when we know that the hole we are looking for is quite small. The good news is that we have found a parameter that actually does help us to design efficient algorithms. And this parameter is called tree width. Tree width is one of the big hammers in parameterized complexity theory. It is a notion that captures how close a graph is to being a tree. The actual definition of tree width is rather technical, so we skip it, but the picture to the left should give you at least some idea about what tree width is. Okay, but we work with spaces, not graphs, so how can we apply tree width in our setting? Well, luckily for us, graphs hides everywhere, and that includes in topological spaces. More precisely, we use models of spaces where we glue together points, lines, triangles, tetrahedra, and n-dimensional tetrahedra. How these components are glued together can be tracked using different graphs, and we have looked at two graphs in particular, both of them shown in this figure. It turns out that using the tree width of either of these graphs uh, as a parameter, we have uh, managed to invent and implement two different parameterized algorithms that find the smallest representative of a given hole. Both of these algorithms have a runtime of 2 to the O of k times n, where n is the input size of the problem and k is the tree rate of either one of the graphs we just discussed. You can see how their implementation performed compared to one another in the plots here, showing how many test cases were terminated within the first seconds of runtime for each uh, algorithm based on each graph. We also proved the ETH optimality of these algorithms using a reduction from the max cut problem uh, parameterized by tree width. The reduction takes instances of max cut and transforms and transform the graph in this problem into a space as shown in the figure to the left. This reduction sends graphs with low tree width to spaces whose underlying graph have low tree width as well. Finally, I have a few open questions that I would like to say a few words about. First, uh, our best algorithm have a guaranteed runtime of O of 4 to the k times n to the c. And we don't know uh, if this is the best we can do, uh, although we strongly suspect that it's uh, uh, the base of uh, any algorithm can be proved below 2 uh, based on uh, this uh, previous ETH reduction and um, how it can potentially be made into a strong ETH reduction. But it's not clear if the theoretical limit should be 4 or 2 or if it should be some other number in between. Secondly, we wonder if we can solve this problem more general complexes such as CW complexes. And finally, taking a big picture view, we wonder if there are other techniques from parameterized algorithms that we can uh, successfully apply to this problem or indeed to any other problem in computational topology. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to contact me directly or leave a comment in the comment section. 
go to the video description if you want a link to the poster, to the preprint of our paper, to our code, or for a longer, more detailed version of this presentation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you around.